everybody. As COVID-19 cases continue to climb in Idaho, hospitals are only getting busier. That's left many expecting mothers feeling apprehensive about giving birth in a hospital. Frankie Catafias is joining us now from home with one mother's story as she copes with the unexpected. Frankie, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Well, soon to be mothers across the country are expecting experiencing the impacts of COVID-19 on their birth plans. I spoke with one local mother expecting her second child just next month, as well as a local doula who says that giving birth in the middle of a pandemic comes with a unique set of challenges. This is a big game changer for a lot of people. Grace Kramer, a doula here in the Treasure Valley, calls birth plans birth preferences because of how quickly things can change. There's quite a bit of uncertainty around what hospitals policies are looking like right now. Melinda Stafford is set to give birth next month. She was planning to deliver her baby in a hospital with her husband in doula. After learning hospitals are only permitting one guest per laboring mother, she considered delivering at a birth center to have her husband and doula by her side. But there's a problem. It may not be an option for me. We're scrambling as doulas. We've got meetings set up with each other to just talk about how we're going to navigate this as doulas. With resources stretched thin, Melinda's options are limited. I will probably now just go to the hospital that I had originally planned. While she's disappointed about the circumstances, she understands sacrificing precious moments. We will not uh, be introducing this baby to family members right away, which is heartbreaking will hopefully keep her and her baby out of harm's way. And Grace is the doula to Melinda, and she says that she's a member and the president of the Treasure Valley doulas, and she's encouraging that all expecting mothers who are worried about their birth plans during these uncertain times to reach out on their Facebook page with more questions. We'll have those details on our website so you can go ahead and reach out if it's a concern to you.